Hello and welcome to my crochet channel. Today I would like to share with you a tutorial for this lacy pineapple shawl. I made this shawl with one skein of Karen one pound, which is 812 yards or 16 ounces, which is a one pound or in grams it's about 450 grams. The hook size is H, 5 millimeters. The finished measurements of my shawl are about 60 inches long, not including the fringe, and about 18 inches wide. And I did write the pattern for this shawl. It's available for sale in my Etsy and Ravelry shops. And by the way, right now I have a sale going on in my Etsy shop. You can get this pattern 30% off or any other pattern that you like. So check out my Etsy shop. The sale is only for a couple of days. It will end on July 17th. And if you like this pineapple shawl, you might also like this one. This is a somewhat similar shawl and I worked it with the same hook size, size H, 5 millimeters. And for this shawl, I used Bernard Super Value yarn, which is also quite affordable yarn. And I will leave the link to the video tutorial for this shawl in the description or in the comments below. All right, and now let's start the tutorial. I start with 63 chains. One, two, three, four, five. Here I have 63 chains and I'm ready to start my first row. Into the third chain from the hook I will work a double crochet. We never count the chain on the hook, we always start counting from the next one. So one, two, three. So over here I work a double crochet. Now one chain. And into the same chain where I work this double crochet, I work two more double crochets. So one double crochet and one more. Here I have a beginning shell. Next five chains. One, two, three, four, five. And I skip five chains. One, two, three, four, five. And into the next one, I make a single crochet. Now three chains. One, two, three. I skip two chains, one, two. And into the next one, I make a single crochet. Now again, I make five chains. One, two, three, four, five. I skip five chains. One, two, three, four, five. And into the next chain, I will work a shell again. So first I work two double crochets. One, and into the same chain, I work one more. Next, one chain. And into that same chain where I already worked two double crochets, I work two more double crochets. One, two. And here I have a shell. Over here I have one pattern repeat. Now the pattern begins to repeat from here. I make five chains. One, two, three, four, five. I skip five chains. One, two, three, four, five. And into the next one, I work a single crochet. Now three chains. One, two, three. And I skip two chains. And into the next one, I make a single crochet. Now again, five chains. One, two, three, four, five. I skip five chains. One, two, three, four, five. And into the next one, I work a shell. Two double crochets. One, two, one chain, 
and two more double crochets. One, two. Now I have two pattern repeats and again the pattern begins to repeat from here. Let's do it one more time. Five chains. One, two, three, four, five. Skip five chains. One, two, three, four, five. And into the next one, a single crochet. Then three chains. One, two, three. Skip two chains and into the next one, a single crochet. Now again, five chains. One, two, three, four, five. Skip five chains. One, two, three, four, five. And into the next one, work a shell. Two double crochets. One, two, one chain. And two more double crochets into that same chain. And one more time, five chains, skip five chains, one, two, three, four, five, single crochet into the next chain, three chains, skip two chains, one, two, single crochet into the next one, five chains, Skip five chains, one, two, three, four, five. And in this last chain, I work a shell. Two double crochets. One chain and two double crochets. One, two. And the first row is now finished. I turn my work and I start the second row by slip stitch into this chain one space. So first I make a slip stitch into the second double crochet and then I make a slip stitch into the chain one space. And every row of my shawl I'm going to start this way. Now I make three chains. One, two, three and into this chain one space I work a double crochet. Now I work one chain and into the same chain one space I work two more double crochets. One, two. So here I have a shell and this is a beginning shell because of how I did slip stitches over here. So like I said, every row of my pattern, I will start with this beginning shell. Next, three chains. One, two, three. And into the next chain five space, I work a single crochet. Now five chains. One, two, three, four, five. I skip this chain three space and into the next chain five space, I work a single crochet. Three chains, one, two, three, and into the chain one space of the next shell, I work another shell. Or I can say that I work a shell into the shell. First, two double crochets, one, two, then one chain and into the same space two more double crochets. One, two. And now I have one pattern repeat and the pattern is gonna start repeating from here. I work three chains. One, two, three. And into the next chain five space I work a single crochet. Next, five chains. One, two, three, four, five. I skip the next chain three space and into the next chain five space, I work a single crochet. Three chains. One, two, three. And into the next shell, I work a shell. First, 
two double crochets one two then one chain and two more double crochets one and two now i have two pattern repeats and again the pattern begins to repeat from here and that's how i'm going to continue crocheting all the way across and at the end of the row i finished with a shell into the last shell i turn my work and i start the next row with the beginning shell the way i did before so first i make a slip stitch into the second double crochet then a slip stitch into the chain one space then three chains one two three and a double crochet one chain and two double crochets one two now i have a beginning shell i skip the next chain three space this one right here and the next one i have chain five space i will be working into this chain five space and over here i will work nine trebles so yarn over twice and i make a first treble yarn over twice and i make the second one and I just continue making trebles until I have nine in total. One more. Now I have nine. I skip the next chain through space and I simply work a shell into the next shell. So first two double crochets, one chain, and two more double crochets and this is already one pattern repeat and the pattern begins to repeat from here I skip the next chain three space and into the next chain five space I work nine trebles one two here I have nine trebles and then I work a shell into the next shell. And that's how I continue crocheting all the way across. I start row four with the beginning shell the same way I did before. Now one chain and into the next treble right here i make a single crochet three chains one two three i skip the next treble and into the next one i work a single crochet again three chains one two three i skip the next treble and into the next one a single crochet and I do it two more times, three chains, skip treble and a single crochet into the next one, three chains, skip treble and a single crochet into the next one. So here I have four loops. Next one chain and into the next shell I work a shell two double crochets, one chain and two more double crochets, one, two. And the pattern begins to repeat from here. One chain and into the next treble, a single crochet. Now three chains, skip the next treble and into the next treble, a single crochet three chains skip next treble and into the next treble a single crochet three chains skip the next treble and into the next one a single crochet and one more time and now i have four loops one chain and a shell into the next shell 
two double crochets, one chain and two double crochets. So that's how this row goes. And that's how I'm going to continue all the way across. I start the next row, row number five, with the beginning shell. Next, two chains, one, two, and into this first chain through loop, into this chain through space, I work a single crochet. Now three chains, one, two, three, and into the next chain through loop, I work a single crochet. Again, three chains, one, two, three, and into the next chain through loop, I work a single crochet, and one more time, three chains, and into the next chain through loop, a single crochet. So here I have three loops. In the previous row, it was four, and now it's only three. Next, two chains, and I work a shell into the next shell. The pattern begins to repeat from here. Two chains, one, two, and into the next chain three space, a single crochet. Now three chains, one, two, three, and into the next chain three space, a single crochet. Three chains, and into the next chain three space, a single crochet. Three chains, and into the next chain three space, a single crochet. So I have three loops, now two chains, and a shell into the next shell. And that's how I continue crocheting this row. I start the next row with a beginning shell. Next three chains, one, two, three. I skip this chain two loop, and the next one I have chain three loop. And into this chain three loop or chain three space, I make a single crochet. Now three chains, one, two, three and a single crochet into the next chain three space. Again, three chains, one, two, three, and a single crochet into the next chain three space. So now I have two loops over here and you can see my pineapple stitch forming. So next three chains, one, two, three. I skip this chain two space and I work a shell into the next shell. And the pattern begins to repeat from here. Three chains, one, two, three. Skip the next chain two space and into the next chain three space, a single crochet. And three chains and into the next chain three space, a single crochet. Three chains and into the next chain three space, a single crochet. Three chains skip the next chain two space and a shell into the next shell one two one chain and one two and that's how this row goes here i have my beginning shell now i make five chains one two three four Five. I skip the next chain through space and into the next one I make a single crochet. Now three chains, one, two, three, and into the next chain through space I work a single crochet. 
now five chains one two three four five and I work a shell into the next shell so this is the top last loop of my pineapple stitch and the pattern begins to repeat five chains one two three four five skip the next chain three space and into the next one i work a single crochet then three chains and into the next chain three space a single crochet and then five chains and then a shell into the next shell And that's how I continue crocheting this row. Here I finished the seventh row. And now the pattern begins to repeat from row number two. There are six repeating rows in this pattern. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. I continued crocheting my shawl until it measures about 60 inches long. And I have 18 pineapple repeats so counting like this so here is one two three four five and so on so the last row that i made is row number seven and i'm actually going to make one more row so that i can get a straight edge and i'm going to show you how to crochet the last row i turn my work and I start by slip stitching into the second double crochet. Now I make one chain and into the chain one space over here, I work three single crochets. One, two, three. Next three chains, one, two, three. And into the next chain five space, I work a single crochet. Now five chains, one, two, three, four, five. I skip the next chain through space and into the next chain five space, I work a single crochet. Now let me move this so it's easier to see. Again, three chains, one, two, three and into the next chain one space of the shell i work three single crochets one two three and the pattern begins to repeat from here three chains one two three and into the next chain five space a single crochet now five chains one two three four five skip the next chain three space and into the next chain five space a single crochet three chains one two three and into the chain one space of the next shell three single crochets three chains single crochet into the next chain five space five chains skip the next chain through space single crochet into the next chain five space then three chains and three single crochets into the chain one space of the shell and that's how i continue crocheting all the way across this is my last shell I make three single crochets here one two three and to finish this row into the next double crochet I make a slip stitch now I can fasten off but I'm actually going to leave a yarn tail over here seven inches long 
and that's because I'm going to add fringe to my shawl and my fringe is going to be seven inches long so this is where I cut the yarn tail at seven inches and I can just secure it right here and here I already have one strand of my fringe and let me show you how I'm going to make fringe I cut yarn into strands of 14 inches long I take one strand at a time I fold it in half and then into the first stitch I insert my hook I draw the loop like this and then I pass these ends through the loop and here I have fringe seven inches long I take the next one fold it in half pass the hook through the next stitch pull the yarn through creating this loop pass the ends through the loop and here is my fringe and I'm going to add fringe in each stitch across.